today we are going to learn how to create a coroplith map in high chart so let's start these are the facts required tidy versions for cleaning the data and stuff then we have this high chart for plotting okay so first thing we are going to do is we are going to get the data world you just will basically give you all the shape files for all the countries then this is the one accountries.csv this is the one i've created myself this is the one which we will use to add different values to the data over here you can see they currently count and country and these are different countries with the names which will be accepted by high chart basically we'll be able to merge this with world geojson okay now we are going to assign randomly assign the values between 0 and 100 there you go let's not add comments for the first time okay now we are going to have these colors these colors are basically being taken from this link let me show you so these are basically taken from here darkest to the right and lightest to the right left so this is where this come from i've used the four colors so let's just run this line now we have the list of colors and now what's going to happen over here first you're going to feed the shape files then the data frame where we have these values value and after that what we want to show on the map value will be equal to the value the column name joined by name and country so name is coming from this world geojson and then the country is coming from here this will be merged together on this after this we have the name name is basically what's the label of the series i'm going to show you after this we have the ac color axis so the main color is this one oh, let me just change it to this this is the main color max color this one and then we have stop colors basically the uh color will be coming from the color and stop color basically the, the four divisions will be coming based on the length colors colors the list and then title of the map over here at title here style equals to color the color of the text of the style i use html have to set it to true and same goes for the subtitle now let's run it as you can see the render is spread the values and it is from 0 to 100 as set over here and secondly you can see the color of the title is dark blue and this is the lighter shade of blue and you can zoom it like this then you can see it just says random number one the trend number one is coming from here you can change it to something else okay now let's just change it to a bit different we can also add theme to it these are the different themes which you can try and now i'm going to add the red theme to it basically the red colors and this one theme see Now we have red and yellows. Basically, these are the colors. And then we have, like, what if we have some N is what will happen then? Let's do this. Now assign N is for the first 100 values. And now let me do this again. So, if a value for certain country does not exist, it will simply come up as white on the map and nothing will come up in when you will hover over the map so this is pretty much it the main component about this one will be having this file so to get this file you can email me on the email link mentioned below you can comment uh, your email and i will like send it to everyone who has whose email is in the comments that will be better other than that, please 
if you have any questions write in the comments and also please like subscribe and share thank you